Indiana wants to extend a new hybrid welfare system to 11 counties, including Vigo, Clay, Park, and Sullivan. But critics of this system say it's too soon, and it will not get help to those who need it most. News 10's Louisa Moeller is live in the studio with details. Louisa? Mark, families on welfare struggled to get help with the automated welfare system. The phone and computer program led to delays and problems, like families being denied food stamps. The state has developed a hybrid system that combines more contact between caseworkers and clients, but still keeps some of the automated system. The hybrid offices currently are in 10 southwestern counties. Now the Family and Social Services Administration wants to bring it here. They say food stamp requalifications are quicker under the hybrid. Appeals by clients have gone down. And the number of people in benefit programs has risen. But some still doubt how effective the new system will be. Muriel Ryan is an advocate for the needy. She believes the automated part of the new system will continue to create problems. She also says the right to see a caseworker is nothing new, but the automated system made it hard to get face-to-face -face help. For Muriel, the hybrid is a move in the right direction, but not far enough. I'm applauding the fact we're making progress. I would contend that there's been too much pain and suffering to applaud too loudly too early. Muriel's organization, Families by Choice, was invited to serve on a Vigo Region Advisory Group on the hybrid system. She hopes that involvement by local advocates will help the system work better. Mark, back to you. Thanks, Louisa. The Family and Social Services Administration is waiting for the federal government to approve an extension of the hybrid system. For a complete list of counties in the extension region, visit our website, WTHITV.com.